What's up investors? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. I'm Richard Allen. In this video, we're going to talk about BCRX. Again, that's BCRX or BioCrist. It's a biotech pharmaceutical company here in the United States. And there's some really exciting catalysts coming up along with, I mean, a crazy amount of institutional ownership, potential short squeeze. There's like so many things working for this company right now. So I want to share not only a Seeking Alpha article with you, but also uh, a, uh, a Reddit post that the Seeking Alpha article uh, covers as well. And then we're going to check out the chart um, as, as well. So I'm, I'm really excited to talk to you about this company because they're increasing their market cad, their, their total addressable market by a tremendous amount, a tremendous amount, potentially very, very soon. So first, let's jump right into this Seeking Alpha article. It says, BioCrist short sellers lose control. So we're going to read the summary here, and then we're going to talk about what the company does, okay? It says, Orladeo now has regulatory approval for sale in the USA and Japan. Orladeo is one of their one of the drugs that BioCrist has. They've spent a ton of money and time on research and development on this particular drug, and it's starting to pay off. The big, the big golden goose here that's going to lay the forty billion dollar eggs is the oral factor D. Uh, the, the, this phase one data is coming very, very soon. So this is going to be the big one. This is what we're going to talk about. This part here is a is a major thing uh, that we're going to talk about here in a second. BioCrist announced they raised three hundred and twenty five million dollars for uh, for marketing and sales of this Orladeo drug. Okay. Baker's Brothers and Sarissa Capital now own 16% of BCRX. We're going to talk about the institutional ownership of this company. It's very, very high. The current short position is 31 million shares. Remember that. The current short position is 31 million shares. This is a very, very important number, okay? Because you're going you're gonna to see that it's heavily, heavily shorted, okay? So BioCris develops novel oral and small molecules that inhibit an enzymes playing a key role in biological pathways of rare diseases. What, what, if you're like me, you're like, okay, what does that mean? I don't know. You're going to have to ask like Dr. Dean or something for that, okay? But I'm sure, I'm sure he'll get excited about this company and talk about it. So... BioCrist has built a world-class sales team to launch Orladeo in the U.S. and EU. BioCrist has signed a licensing agreement with Tori to launch product in Japan. Management at BioCrist hired dozens of professionals with 10 plus years of rare disease sales experience. Many of these people came from HEAE competitors specifically. The Vice President and U.S. General Manager Alan Hodge was even responsible for the successful efforts of AHAE drug launches of Sinzer and Pfizer. That's I, I probably said that right. Two pioneering injectable treatments for HAE. Again, this is an oral treatment, oral oral Ladeo. Okay, um, you could not get a more promising leader for this task. It says. Last December the 7th, 2020, BCRX announced a royalty agreement with Royalty Pharma where they raised uh, $325 million to launch Orladeo in the U.S. and EU, okay? So, this Orladeo product has been approved in the U.S. It's been approved in Japan. Um, it just moved forward for approval in France. They announced that a few days ago. So, so again, here's the big differentiator from BioCrist Orladeo, okay? This drug is an oral drug. The other two com competing drugs are are not only more expensive, but they're IV uh, administered or sub subcutaneous administration only. So big, big difference. Um, but these drugs are very, very expensive, but they're life-saving drugs, okay? The two competitors' drugs, you can see that right here, are $600,000 per year. Very, very expensive drug. And BioCrist aims to charge $485,000 per year for its daily oral pill again non-invasive it sounds like there's quite a few people that don't even treat uh their h h a e um as they should but part of that is because of how invasive the treatment has been um so that this is a big big deal again the market is growing right it's it's 1.5 billion dollars right now it's slated to be about worth worth almost 4 billion dollars by 2025 but this is just peanuts 
peanuts compared to what this oral D inhibitor that, that we're going to talk about here in a second, okay? Again, first oral drug approved to treat this disease, okay? This is a big, big deal. This company is doing some amazing things, okay? There, and there are some, honestly, terrible analyses uh, of this company uh, on the internet. And I, 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 I love uh, this particular uh, analysis, and I love... Uh, the one on on Reddit, and it's not just because I'm bullish on this company. It's because uh, this makes this makes a lot of sense to me. Okay, so we're gonna scroll down here. Um, they have a, quite a few drugs in the pipeline. They have some anti antiviral drugs to treat in to treat like flu, right? They have um, some uh, some RN, RNA inhibitor uh, type drugs. Not gonna even pretend to know what any of this stuff is, um, but the the meat and potatoes of this company okay and i love i love this title here bcrx the embarrassment of riches the meat and potatoes and potential of this company oral d factor oral factor d could be the most valuable asset in biochrist according to author pitbull trades again this guy quotes quotes a reddit this is fantastic the author <laughs> pitbull trades in, in the report bcrx the embarrassment of riches it's a novel oral potent and selective small molecule inhibitor of factor d currently in phase one clinical development for the treatment of uh, complement mediated diseases okay so this this drug potentially can treat eight different diseases so i'm going to show you that and then we're going to talk about uh we're going to talk about a key thing that i think is is the main reason you should get this company on your radar and i'm not going to say you should invest but this is almost almost a no-brainer this is almost a no-brainer right now because right now i'm going to jump over to the share the share price market cap that kind of thing before we look at the uh the reddit post by pitbull trades We're, let's jump over to weeble guys if you don't have weeble already it's a fantastic platform it's a fantastic platform for trading and you get two free stocks for signing up. If you don't already have an account, all you have to do is sign up. There's a link in the description. You sign up, you deposit 100 bucks. That's it. And you get two free stocks valued at up to 1850 bucks. You can use the platform if you want. I think I think you should. It's a fantastic platform. I use it all the time. So, uh, BCRX right now is $12.64 per share. It went up a little bit after hours on Friday to 12.77, okay? But it's been as high as 14.35 recently, um, and it's been as low as like 3.50 just within a few months. So let's jump it over to the six month chart. Uh, the one year chart here, it's been as low as $1.50. So this has gone up a lot, almost a thousand percent over the past year. And you may think, okay, that's a lot but it's because of all the drugs they have in the pipeline and mainly because this Orladeo was finally approved and they're, they're starting to get revenue from that. But if you look at the market cap of this company, it's $2.24 billion. But now they're about to tap into a potential market of 40 plus billion dollars, almost $45 billion, okay? The main thing I wanna to talk to you guys about, and this is a big, big article here on Reddit, and I'm gonna share this with you guys. I'll put it in the description of this video. If we scroll down here, you guys maybe maybe don't remember, but back in December, um, we talked about a company called Alexia that was just taken over by AstraZeneca, okay? Now, Alexion, the, the share price freaking skyrocketed, okay, when AstraZeneca took them over. Now, AstraZeneca bought out Alexion for $39 billion, okay? 90% of their revenue came from a factor D drug. 90% of their revenue came from a factor D drug, and AstraZeneca paid $39 billion for this company. BCRX is, is going to be very soon in a very similar position. The big difference here, okay? The big difference is that this oral D drug that BioChrist has treats eight. Can I do eight? Eight different diseases where Alexion's only treats two or is approved for two different diseases. Huge, huge difference. 
So they, this uh, Pitbull Trades guy, he does an amazing job of talking about the potential value that is this company. And we're talking about from here, a more than 10x increase potentially if this company is valued anywhere near what Alexion was valued at once they were bought out by AstraZeneca, okay? So he says right here, using a biotech mid-cap 7x revenue multiplier of 3.9 billion, meaning a value, share price value of $157.56 for BCRX. And that's factoring that, that's factoring this oral D drug. That's what he thinks just this oral D drug is worth, $157.56. In the beginning of this, in this report, he, he talks about BCRX potentially being worth $184 per share. Even if it goes to half of that, it's a potential gold mine for anybody who invests right now okay so i really really want you guys to get this on your radar i want to try to bring you good plays like this before they've run up millions of percents or whatever right um the other big thing i want to talk to you about remember there's a potential short squeeze going on here okay bcrx where are we at valuation bcrx has 173 million shares outstanding and has a current price of 1150 this was back in february 11.50 a share. This means BioCris has a current market value of 1.9. Again, this was back in February. Okay, 173 million shares outstanding. That's important. Okay, so we're gonna scroll down. Here's the conclusion: BCRX story has caught fire in social media. I, I don't think it has. I haven't even. I've seen a couple videos on YouTube about it, uh, but some of them did a terrible job. Some of them did a really, really good job of talking about it. But could potentially see a rapid rise in share price if the short sellers are forced to cover. It's one thing to short 20% of the float in a biotech stock hemorrhaging money, but it is kamikaze insane to be caught in this position with BCRX. BioCrist is within a quarter of potentially producing hundreds of millions of dollars yearly revenues. Institutions have quietly acquired over 90% of all the shares outstanding in BCRX, leaving an actual float outside of institutional holdings of 17 million shares at most. Remember, up at the top, what did we talk about? The current short position is 31 million shares. That's massive. So, Say the institutions believe the stock is worth 50 or $60 a share. At what price do the shorts find 30 million shares to cover this position with one blockbuster drug approved and enough money to start multiple fast track trials on a second? BCRX looks increasingly poised to be a buyout candidate. If Oral D proves to be the holy grail the company believes it is, you could easily be looking at a $100 stock in the future. Now. Tom Payne here who wrote this particular article he does have a long position in BCRX okay so you've got to kind of take that into account I'm sure that Pitbull Trades maybe Pitbull Trades is Tom Payne I don't know but Pitbull Trades I'm guessing also has a long position in this company okay here's the deal even at 50 or 60 dollars per share even at a hundred i mean this is there's some crazy potential right now because this share price is 12 something so again i mean this is this is a big part right here the pipeline of drugs is easily worth 10 billion dollars that's a almost 5x opportunity from where we are right now the pipeline is easily worth 10 billion and with further development could be worth north of 50 billion dollars bcrx has a current market cap well, we know it's $2.2 billion, okay? Guys, I think this is a fantastic, fantastic long-term opportunity for you guys. I really want you to get this on your radar. I really, really do. I think it's a fantastic opportunity, potentially in the short term as well, with this, this phase one uh, data coming out relatively soon, probably within the next few weeks, I would guess. Um, maybe even next week. 
get this on your radar. I don't think it's going to be $12 for long. Of course, anything could happen. The market could shit the bed again and uh, and this could go to zero. I don't know, right? Um, but I, I don't think that's going to happen with this stock. I think we're going to see an amazing year with this company. I think we're going to see five, six X potential over the next few years. So please get this company on your radar. Again, it's B C R X guys. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. I appreciate it. If you want me to bring you more potential biotech plays, I love this kind of stuff. Let me know. Let me know down in the comments. I think I can find deals like this at least maybe once a month or so. Um, these, I think this kind of deal are, are pretty hard to come by. So maybe not once a month. But if you want me to look at more biotech plays, let me know down in the comments. I, I would love to do that for you guys. Um, but they are a lot of work. You got to do a lot of research into these companies. So if you want more of these kind of plays, subscribe, hit that like button. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. Again, I'm Richard Allen. As always, if you didn't already do it, sign up for Weeble. Deposit 100 bucks. Get up to $1,850 in free stocks. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.